National Cancer Strategy 2006 recognised that information systems should be developed to manage cancer services. The National Cancer Control Programme, in collaboration with a broad range of stakeholders, has developed electronic cancer referral for breast, prostate and lung cancer. The project commenced in 2008. This is a multi-agency project involving the following organisations. The National Cancer Control Programme, the National Health Link Project, the HSE ICT Directorate, the National GPIT Group, the Irish College of General Practitioners. The Electronic Cancer Referral System is an online system for GPs so that they can refer patients with symptoms suggestive of cancer directly to the cancer centre. It provides direct access for GPs to the cancer teams at the eight designated cancer centres. This ensures that no referrals can go missing. GPs can now send breast, prostate and lung cancer patients to one of the eight designated NCCP cancer referral centres. And we do this in two ways. We can either refer by logging onto the HealthLink website and completing an online referral form, or we can do it from using our own GP software packages. And currently we have four of the GPIT accredited software packages which are enabled in this way. There are Socrates, Health One, Complete GP and Helix Practice Manager. Well, look, Claire, um, yeah, uh, thanks for that. I, I agree with you. There is a small lump there. And uh, I do think because you're age 40 uh, and we have a breast lump, uh, obvious that I'll need to send you to one of the, asympto the symptomatic breast disease clinics to get that checked out. OK. Um, now, the good news is that that process is much easier than it used to be. And I can now send a referral electronically for you. Uh, and that means that you'll be getting an appointment from the breast clinic within 10 days oh, of the great. referral yeah. being made. Yeah. Now, to do that, I have to fill out a form on the, on the mm -hmm. computer. So can you just help me out yeah, with that for a moment yeah. and we'll go through that. The form is very quick and easy to complete. As soon as the referral is sent, an automatic confirmation is received to confirm that the referral has been successfully sent. The guidelines for a referral are also available online and a copy of the referral is automatically kept within the GP software system. Yeah, one of the big pluses of doing it from within the GP software package is that all of the information that's already stored in the electronic record is reused. So the patient's medical history, the medications, the allergies, and all that demographic information about the patient is all imported from the patient record and immediately inserted into the electronic cancer referral form. And this makes the job of making a referral much, much more easy and much quicker for us as well. Making referrals in this way is completely free. All you really need to have is a computer, an internet connection, and to be registered with HealthLink. We receive an acknowledgement message within five days of the referral being made. And this is a huge help because you know for sure that the patient's referral has been received, is being acted upon, and that the patient will actually get seen in urgent cases within 10 days of the referral being made. The electronic cancel referral system provides rapid access for patients who are being referred with a suspected cancer. This is very beneficial for the patient, as the earlier they are diagnosed, the greater the potential is for cure. The electronic cancer referrals have more complete information and we never have to contact a GP for more information when the referral has been submitted electronically. This saves time and money for everyone. And I can see the referral has just come in from Dr Mead, a 40 year old lady with a lump in her in her right breast. And all the relevant uh, parameters have been filled in. It's very important for us to know whether the patient has a family history and in regards to the lump, how long the lump is present and of course the clinical impression of the GP, um, which, is, which can be inserted as the, um, as, as the comment. Uh, the electronic referrals have made a big difference to our service in that we get immediate receipt of the referral and can acknowledge back to the GP. And this patient will be prioritised as an urgent patient uh, because she's over 35 and has a new, a new lump. And the GP can then uh, see that it has been received by the breast care centre and that we have prioritised as urgent. And urgent prioritisation will give the patient an appointment within two, in, within two weeks. We no longer have to worry about poor handwriting and um, whether the contact details of the patient, they have to be filled in. So I'm just going to respond back to Dr Mead to say that his patient uh, has been triaged as urgent and will receive a, uh, an appointment within two, two weeks. So the other important point to make on, on these referrals is that we base whether the patient should be seen urgently or not based on the information from the GP. So it's really important for us and for the patients to, uh, for us to get the full information so that the patients who are urgent should be seen urgently and the patients that are not uh, can wait for the six-week appointment. Here we have a 40-year-old lady who um, has a lump and so therefore 
we're going to be triaging her. She falls into the urgent okay, category. Okay, so we'll get her in within the. So she'll be in within a week to two Good. weeks, and that's fine. And we'll get a mammogram, and ultrasound, maybe a biopsy. Yeah. Okay. And then here we have a lady who is under 35 years old and she has a lump as well. Okay. So she falls into the early category. We be, there's no family history. Okay. So we'll be seeing her within and six The GP weeks. definitely feels it's a definite lump rather than yes. nodularity, definite lump. Yeah, he has okay. a definite lump. So we'll get her in. Okay. She'll be seen within six weeks, probably earlier. Okay, good. Hopefully that's just a benign fibroadenoma. Yes. The eight symptomatic breast centres are fulfilling the key performance indicator, which is to see 95% of urgent referrals within 10 working days. The electronic cancer referral system makes it easy to open and triage any referral, easy to respond to a referral. All responses will include date and time of patient's appointments if available, triage results, comments. The National Cancer Control Programme has invested a large amount of time and resources into making this project a success and we hope it will provide useful lessons for future development of general electronic referral in this country. In addition to the immediate acknowledgement message, once you send the referral, the cancer teams at each of the eight designated cancer centres will send a response within five working days. This is a fantastic improvement and reduces communication difficulties by streamlining the cancer referral process. It also saves postage and stationary costs for both the GP and the designated cancer centres. Responses will include feedback from cancer teams on referral, date of patient appointment and other comments. A copy of this information is automatically kept within the GP software system and within each patient's file.